What is going on, folk? It's Nimble Thor here, and if you guys like Limbo or the Badlands graphics and the atmosphere just overall, then I have good news for you because I might just have found your new favorite game. Because today, in my mobile gaming quest of playing the very best new mobile games every single day, we're checking out Evil Cox, which is out both on Android and now, very recently, also out on iOS. So no matter which device you're on, you can definitely go check it out. Oh, okay, so we gotta see how we can... We have to get to the other side there. Are you guys seeing that? Okay, so this is this is a game of puzzles, okay? This is not an action game. It's a game where you control this little th this little fella here by tapping the right or the left side of the screen. And we have a couple of different power-ups that we can use. And then we simply have to find a way to get through these maps here. You guys can see that right now the, the thing is that there's this wheel down there that we definitely cannot hit or we will get killed. And we gotta find our way out of this maze here. Okay, I found the way out, guys. And we collected that little, the little light before that actually gave us gold. So now, oh wait, I thought that was actually the way to finish it. That is nice, okay. Let's try it once more, let's try this once more, guys. So we can get over here, and we should be able, this one should be able to, this should open up before, yes. Okay, so there we go. Guys, this is it, now or never, we move so slowly though. Oh, fingers crossed, yes, we made it through. We made it through, and a little bit of more gold there from collecting that light. That is so nice. Let's see if we can get to the end here, and yeah, I will show you guys. Oh, <laughs> we're getting all tangled up there. Woo, okay. They can't kill us, though, as far as I know, so the only thing we have to be afraid of are sharp things in this world, it seems. I'm really liking the overall atmosphere here. The music comes together with the graphics. I know I mentioned that a lot because I, I think it's one of the things... Oh! Whoa! Whoa! What happened there? I think it's one of the things that means a lot in a game. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa! Okay, okay, I see what we have to do here, guys. We have to bounce over there. Nice. Kind of just get shot through that, through those worms that were trying to eat us. And we have to do the same here, I guess. And now we finish this first this first level. That is so cool. As you guys saw, we had a couple of different skills that we can use. So one of them is a slow motion effect, which is really beneficial because even though the game doesn't move that fast, it's still really difficult. I, I would imagine it's more difficult than it actually looks on video. So it's really challenging. And of course, it gets more and more challenging because there are new sort of puzzle elements introduced as we go through these levels, uh, levels here. And this is only level one. Then we've got chapter two, or chapter one, sorry. Then we've got chapter two that we can unlock for 10,000 gold so it will take some time to collect 10,000 gold but as you guys can see right now I'm only how many levels am I in one two three four five six seven eight nine ten about nine or ten levels in and we already have 2,000 gold obviously the way the game monetizes is that we can buy more gold for premium currency and we can use the gold to either upgrade you know the speed boosts buy more speed boosts all the slow motion boosts um, and the way it then monetizes, as I said, is by selling us gold through in-app purchases, or we can sometimes get some free gold every once in a while. So that's how the game monetizes. It's a really nice way of monetizing. Apart from that, there are a few ads, though, and there are quite a lot of those ads, sadly. Uh, right now, I'm not seeing a lot of them, but typically there is a lot of ads in this game, so just be aware of that. You might not have the best gameplay experience unless you buy an in-app purchase to remove those ads. But at least there's an option to remove them, so I'm not gonna complain too much about that, just as long as you're aware that you might not be able to really enjoy this game at least without, oh, that was so close, without buying, um, buying one of the in-app purchases to remove these ads. But if you decide to do that, I can almost guarantee you guys that you're gonna have a great time with this game. Let's see if we can get past them this time. So what do we have to do? I guess we have to keep falling here. Oh, okay, okay. That's what we had to do. Luckily, gravity will pull us down. So I guess for this one, we have to go over here and we'll probably get shot through these. Yes, get shot through that one. What is that? Is that a TV down there? I've been been lying. Lying. Oh, so this is the next part of the story. That is so nice. So Obviously, long. there's a real cool story in this game Darkness that I'm yet uh, that I'm yet looking to to unfold the full uh, the full hope. story off. But it's really nice, and if you want to really get into it, I'd recommend you guys playing this game with the headset on, because this voice is just so creepy of this narrator here, who's trying to tell us uh, what to do, what to not do, or how to act in this world, I suppose. So let's see if we can get past here, though, get past this one, by hitting that little wobbly thing over there. Whatever it is, that can push us through, pull us through. And we should be able to finish this one quite easily. So far, this has definitely been one of the more easiest levels, more easier levels. Let's see, can we get through? No, 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 no. Okay, yeah, I thought we were gonna miss it. I guess it's safest just to stay down here and then just get kind of get pulled from side to side here. Okay, yeah, we made it. Awesome. But do let me know, by the way. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, there was another one down there. Do let me know what you think about this game down in the comments section down below. I'm really, I'll be li really looking forward to to hearing what you guys think. How do we, how do we do this though? How do we get past this? We definitely have to get past this before ending off the video here. 
Let's see. There must be a way. There must be a way. Maybe the only way is to really... Okay, so if we go up, we... No, no, no. No, no. Is there a way to trigger it? Like, we trigger it, and then we go back. Yes, that might be it. And then now we get... No, we can't get past it. Can't get past it, though. Hmm, we might have to... Might have to use one of these speed boosts, I guess. Or maybe the slow-mo. So maybe the... Okay, so the... Oh, oh, oh. So the speed boost, can I use that? Oh, I don't have any more speed boosts. Right. Wait, oh, we could actually use it. Nice. Okay, so we got past that one. So now, please tell me that we're gonna finish this one. Please tell me we're gonna finish this one down here. I think this might be the end. Or maybe there's some really, really evil trick here at the end where we have to be really quick and really careful. But generally though, as I said, yeah, we finished it. As I said, this is not a game about being quick. It's really just about finding the right way to solve puzzles. So the game is made, which is really fascinating by the way, is made by only two indie developers. That's quite impressive, I must say, because there's quite a few levels in here already, and they are working on a third chapter as well, so there will be even more content coming out very soon. I think this is actually a premium game on iOS, I believe, but it is available on both platforms, but on Android it is free to play, but then, of course, you do have to live with the ads, as I said. Let me know down in the comment section down below, have you played Badland? Have you played those types of similar game uh, to, uh, to this one? Have you played the, those already? I really love Limbo, I haven't finished it. I know it's a so horrible, I have to go back to it, play more of it, but I got that one while it was for free at some point on, on Android. So have you played that? Do let me know down there as well. So with that said, thank you so much guys for sticking around till the end of this video. You guys know that it helps the channel, it helps me. I appreciate, of course, you guys staying here. I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you'll be enjoying this game. And uh, until next time, guys, you know the drill. Stay awesome, keep gaming, and I'll see you guys around.